Hi, everyone. I'm Lori Bloom, co-founder of Gracefully Grang. Welcome to Gracefully Grang Live. We are connecting you to information and resources in Michigan and beyond to help you create and maintain a productive and vibrant life as we are all Gracefully Grang. And as always, a thanks to our sponsors. Enjoy the live stream. Welcome to Gracefully Graying. I'm your host, attorney, and co-founder, Henry Gornvine. Today on Gracefully Graying, I'm pleased to welcome as my guest, Mark Nicholson, who is the CEO of the Gazette Media Group, which we'll be learning a lot about in the coming minutes. Mark, welcome to Gracefully Graying. Hi, Henry. Thank you for having me on. Well, thank you for joining us. First of all, Mark, why don't you tell our viewers a little bit about who you are and your background? Absolutely. So, you know, I'm a, a, I grew up here in Metro Detroit, um, grew up in Sterling Heights and uh, um, live in Troy. I've lived in Troy now for about 28 years and, uh, you know, Southeast Michigan, great, great community. Um, and uh, professionally, um, you know, I, I started uh, uh, my professional career uh, in college, um, interning at a local radio station and, uh, you know, from there, uh, I went into advertising sales and uh, stayed in radio advertising sales and sales management for about 20 years and uh, really enjoyed it. Um, what I realized that I liked about it was, you know, helping local businesses um, and business owners achieve their goals through, through advertising. Um, and then after about 20 years in, in radio, I switched to television and uh, stayed in television sales, advertising sales and management for another 10 years or so. And then shortly after that, I was able to start my own company and uh, continuing to help, uh, help businesses uh, you know, throughout Southeast Michigan uh, continue to grow. Now, Mark, your company is Gazette Media. Why don't you tell us a little bit more about it? Absolutely. So uh, Gazette Media Group, we're a magazine publisher. We publish the Michigan Seniors Guide um, that's a, a, a biannual publication. We publish it twice a year in March and in September. And then we also produce a, a variety of consumer shows, um, most notably the uh, Senior Expos, uh, which we do here in Michigan as well. First of all, why don't you tell us a little bit about the Michigan Seniors Guide? And I happen to have a copy of it, and it really covers a lot of ground. In fact, the cover has a pickleball paddle, and I've taken up pickleball, and it's really a great sport for all ages. So, Mark, tell us about the Michigan Seniors Guide. Oh, Henry, thank you for picking it up, too. We appreciate that. Now, it's a it's a great magazine, and uh, it's, it's as I said, we publish it twice a year in March and in, uh, in April. It's free. Um, people can pick it up all over Metro Detroit. It's distributed at hundreds of locations in Wayne, Oakland, and Macomb counties. Um, if somebody's looking for a specific location, they can go to the Michigan Seniors Guide uh, .com website and uh, find out where to find out where they can pick up their their free copy. Also, for their convenience, um, if they're not able to pick it up or, or uh, find it uh, easily, they can just fill out the form online on the website, and uh, we'll be happy to mail them a, a complimentary copy free of charge as well. Um, but no, it's a it's a it's a great magazine. Um, uh, what we do is, you know, we cover a variety of things for our readers in terms of activities to do. Um, uh, in this particular issue, you mentioned the pickleball article, very, very popular activity for older adults. Um, it's grown. We talked about it, I think about two years ago, we did a brief mention of pickleball and uh, to see it grow the way it has, uh, has been absolutely incredible for, for adults of all ages, as a matter of fact. Um, but also in this uh, this month's uh, or this uh, this spring and summer edition of the magazine, um, we've got a great article about the top 10 podcasts for seniors, um, as well as then at the back of the guide, we always uh, publish our uh, complete list of, of uh, housing or independent living facilities, assisted living facilities, um, uh, in, and it's sorted alphabetically, um, you know, by county and then by city as well, too. Um, the magazine is just meant to be a great resource, but also uh, equally a fun and enjoyable, you know, read for, for, uh, for adults um, who are just looking for things to do in Metro Detroit, whether it's a new restaurant, a new book, um, or a new movie that's out. Um, it's meant to touch a, a lot of different uh, boxes, if you will, uh, for our readers. 
Do you feel you've met a lot of your goals? It sounds it's there's a lot of content in it. I, I read through it and uh, what is the circulation, if you know? Yeah, so uh, the circulation uh, is uh, is twelve thousand, and uh, we estimate that we've got about twenty five thousand readers uh, for each uh, each edition, meaning the spring edition twenty five thousand, and then the uh, and then the fall edition twenty five thousand too. That factors, of course, the traditional pass along uh, math in there as well too. Mark, tell us about Senior Expo USA, and I note that there's one coming up very shortly at the San Marino in Troy. So tell us about it. Absolutely. So uh, Senior Expo, uh, specifically Senior Expo USA is our website where, um, uh, you know, people can find uh, and locate a Senior Expo, (coughs) excuse me, near them in their community. And in Michigan, uh, we produce about 13, 13 or 14 Senior Expos um, here in the Metro Detroit area, not, and then also in West Michigan. Um, we do them at convenient locations, um, you know, in Sterling Heights, in Troy, um, Auburn Hills, um, in the West Side, in Novi as well, too, Livonia also, where seniors don't have to drive very far. Um, it's convenient to attend, and they can connect with helpful companies and organizations within their communities, you know, whether they're looking for questions about, you know, VA benefits or, um, or Medicare or assisted living, independent living, um, mobility issues, et cetera. Um, we get a variety of companies that participate and they're all there to, to help um, seniors and give them, you know, the information that they're looking for. How many vendors do you typically have? Like the one coming up in Troy, how many vendors do you expect and what type of attendance do you usually get? Sure. So we typically have anywhere between 30 and 50 exhibitors. And uh, what's also nice about the expos is, you know, obviously everything's free, um, uh, free admission, uh, free parking. We also provide free health screenings, um, free refreshments and snacks as well, too. Um, And then in terms of uh, the number, well, I did mention the number of exhibitors, uh, we get somewhere between 30 and 50 attendees. You know, it ranges anywhere between five and 600. So you, you get a good population and you do these throughout the year. And I also notice not only in Michigan, you're national. Do you have expos in almost every state? Um, we will eventually. Right now, we're, we're primarily here in Michigan, uh, we're in Illinois. Uh, we are in Georgia and Texas. But you know, as we as we continue to expand our footprint, um, you know, we'll be moving into other states, including Tennessee, Kentucky, um, up the uh, up and down the East Coast, as well into the Carolinas, um, into the D.C., uh, West Virginia area, also. So yeah. I mean, it seems like the Senior Expo is a great service because for lack of a better word, it's like a one-stop shop so that all of the needs and possible questions and answers for seniors are there under one roof. Is that a correct statement? That's absolutely on target, Henry. That's exactly what we try to do. We make them, um, we try to make sure that they're curated in such a way that there's a variety of, of exhibitors that participate. So, you know, if you're looking for like I mentioned earlier, if you're looking for, if you have questions about your veterans benefits, we've got representatives from the VA there. Uh, if you're, if you feel you have a need to speak to an audiologist um, about hearing needs, we've got that there. If there's, uh, if you have some mobility issues um, with regards to, you know, um, uh, uh, your mobility, whether it's uh, medical equipment or just services, we have uh, organizations that represent. Uh, uh, those um, uh, issues as well. It sounds like it's pretty complete. And this is coming up, well, the next one is on the 22nd of March. And as you said, you have them throughout throughout the year. Is that correct? Yeah, absolutely. Actually, the next one will be coming up on Wednesday, tomorrow, Wednesday, March 20, uh, 29th. And uh, at the, uh, as you mentioned earlier, at the San Marino Club in Troy, it's located on Big Beaver, um, just uh, just uh, uh, west of John R. Road. Uh, it's very, very convenient. So if you're a Troy resident, a Birmingham resident, 
even you know Bloomfield or you know Sterling Heights if you're on the uh, on the border there it's convenient to come by as well too. Uh, we also do hourly prize drawings as well to make it uh, to make it fun. And uh, as I mentioned, free refreshments, free health screenings. It's just a great you know three hour event. People can come and attend at their leisure. Uh, bring their friends, bring their family. It's it's just a nice outing. And how many vendors have signed up to date, if you know? Um, you know, I haven't checked recently, but I, I think we're between 30 and 50 right now. Okay. Sounds like something worth attending. So yeah. uh, I look forward to stopping by myself. Why don't you tell us some of the other goals that you have with the Gazette Media Group? I know in addition to the senior expos, you do bridal fairs and other things. Tell us a little bit more about that. Yeah, absolutely. So we do produce a variety of, uh, of consumer shows. We produce home shows, um, home improvement shows. Um, we do two a year. Um, we also produce, as you mentioned, a variety of bridal shows and some other things, too. Um, but, uh, you know, primarily our focus is, is the senior expos. Um, and then, you know, our goals really, you know, we just want to continue to serve our readers um, and our attendees at the highest level. Uh, and also our customers and uh, provide everybody the, the, the highest level of customer service um, so that they can enjoy their lives and, and achieve their goals. I mean, it really dovetails with what we're doing at Gracefully Growing because our goal, I mean, we're doing this through blogs and videos uh, on a continuous basis, just like the interview with you, Mark, but our goal is really to help people. Our tagline is living life fully and uh, just because we're getting older doesn't mean that we can't enjoy life and do whatever we can to live life fully. Mark, what are some final thoughts or other things you would like to share with our viewers before we sign off? Well, I just want to say thank you, Henry, for the opportunity to uh, chat with you today. And as you know, you and I have talked at length uh, many times, and I'm a big fan of Gracefully Graying. I think the content that you guys put out is invaluable and uh, I know we, uh, we uh, had an article for you in, uh, in this uh, copy of the magazine, this edition of the magazine, Michigan Senior Guide. And, uh, you know, my comments are, you know, keep doing what you guys are doing. It's fabulous. Um, it's, it's invaluable content. And, uh, you know, again, I just thank you for the opportunity to, uh, to be interviewed today. Well, thank you. I mean, we enjoyed interviewing and we really want to thank you for the opportunity that we had for the great article in uh, the Senior guide and newsletter. So I look forward to meeting you at the uh, upcoming Senior Expo and look forward to working with you in the future. Um, Absolutely. Thank you, Henry. Thank you so much. Uh, I want to thank our viewers for watching Gracefully Growing today. And I want to thank our sponsors. Mark, thank you again for being our guest today on Gracefully Growing. Thank you.